Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to look at Gemini, right? It's a new large language model that Google has launched. Uh, you know, it there, are, there, there have been talks that uh, Google will postpone, you know, the release of Gemini, you know, uh, to the next year, right? But now they have launched Gemini and there have been, you know, uh, there have been volcanoes, you know, if we open LinkedIn, people are talking about Gemini on the social medias like LinkedIn, the X, and now there are more than hundreds of videos already there on YouTube, right? Uh, in this video, we'll look at uh, a few technical findings that I have derived from the technical reports and uh, you know, they have people have started comparing this with GPT-4 that I think that's not a good comparison to do it uh, probably because I'll also explain that how these benchmarkings now have, nowadays have been done, right? The, it's not a big deal to uh, break uh, or surpass this uh, benchmark that has been set in the industry. So it's an exciting time because Google is an AI first company, right? It has been an AI first company for the decade now and they wanted to build something where they can rival with GPT-4 or the open AI in general and that's the answer uh, Gemini probably will be the answer for that and if you look at here I am currently on the DeepMind because you know Gemini has been developed uh, by DeepMind which is a Google's company now and the good thing about it that it's it's built up from the ground up for the multi modalities right the training data which is there is not much information available on the uh, training data part of it uh, that how it was done but if you look at it says that from the ground up, they have worked on the multimodal data itself, right? And they perform well, they reason well, you know, across the different dimensions of the data that we have, right? Text, images, videos, audios, and code. Uh, you know, Sundar Pichai have been talking about here, you know, in some of the videos that we have, the Gemini era. Made the first version of Gemini, our most capable AI model so far. We'll see how capable it is. Uh, you can see it says Gemini Ultra. Okay, which is not yet available i feel i think this and th this thing will this thing will be available i think around december 13th okay that's what i read and it's not available at this moment for at least for me and uh, right now the gemini's pro so there is three version of this that they are you know uh, they have been launching you can see it's ultra pro and nano nano is like to run it on device like mobile applications etc you know you can run it on a mobile device uh, the nano one the ultra one which is most capable you know the largest model for highly complex task and pro is something that you compare with gpt 3.5 turbo so pro will get compared with turbo 3.5 and ultra will get compared with gpt 4 and plus when it when you want to compare this with open ai let's jump in you know i'm not focusing or worried about this demos and all you'll be able to figure it out right i was going through the technical report which is more than 60 pages you can see it's very good looking paper that we have a technical report of family of highly capable multimodal models. Now I was going through this paper in a very short span of time and I have my finding that I'm going to show you here. You know, the first thing that is, I'll bring it, which is the context that we have. Let me bring it my uh, tab here and I'm going to express, explain the things. Uh, the first thing is the context length which is disappointing uh, when it comes to context length which is 32k which is a disappointing number for me if i look at what anthropic is doing with claude for example i'm not going to compare claude with gemini right now i don't know if that's a fair comparison to do but somebody who has enough time or an ample amount of time to build a large language model right in the last few months and they wanted to rival with gpt4 and the anthropics models context length 32k is disappointing for me you know uh, that's something that uh, is really disappointing I wanted to cover i have my other findings uh, it performs well of course multimodality is something that it's it has been trained on from the ground up so multimodal yes you know it's doing good so will give it a good rating on the multimodalities that's what i've been reading uh, as well now the next is uh, the coding ability right so on the coding ability let me just write it over here if you i categorize this into other categories one with the human eval and the other is we'll talk about that so on human eval i have the numbers with me you know, on human eval compared to gpt4 
they they have ranked around 74.4 percent which is slightly higher than how gpt4 has performed on human eval so if you don't know what a human eval is it's a evaluation benchmark for large language model when it comes to software development or coding uh, abilities right that's on the human eval now the other is uh natural to code okay which i was going through the research uh, the technical report that they have given so on the natural to code benchmark you know it's there is a very smaller gap and that's where you know i have my doubt i think we need more samples if you really and different type of huge cases when you want to compare this with gpt4 you know if if it's on par or you know it's better than gpt4 or not right so if you look at natural to code benchmark in the technical report it's around 74.9% which is only a bit higher than gpt4 i think which is around uh, 73.9 or something right so that on the coding abilities uh, that's and the performing now on other benchmark like mmlu for example okay which is also on few uh, sample that they have performed i think uh, so they have used cot at 32 for with with few samples like 32 samples that they are saying that germany is better but i don't think that's a fair comparison okay so this is also a, a doubt for me so i'm doubtful about this right now the reason is see, nobody is an expert right now with Germany. Everybody is trying to figure out, figure it out that how it's going to perform, right? And we'll talk about how they have trained with Flamingo and all. But I'm just figuring it out that should we compare this with GPT-4 right now that I feel it might not be the right comparison, you know, at least at this moment uh, to do that. Now, uh, as I already have compared, uh, as I already have said that you you use Pro to compare with Turbo, not the Ultra one, which where we compare with GPT-4. Okay, now Gemini Ultra that might surpass GPT-4, which is not yet launched by Google or the DeepMind. They haven't launched yet. You have to wait for that for the next year. That's that I'll tell you that Ultra is coming next year. That's what they have said. So Ultra will get compared with GPT-4 at least, and for the Pro you can compare with Turbo. That's the thing that you should know uh, right now. Now, uh, then also I have some other finding that I also want to pull in. Uh, that what kind of machine that they have used to train right for this they have used uh, tpus to train that uh, tpu version 4 version 5 so i'm gonna write tpu for training so for training that that's what they have used and if you look at they have used again so rlhf has been used to fine tune the model so for fine tuning i'll just write ft the model and i i i'm really hopeful that it will be it will perform better on some of the instructions based huge cases as well where you have huge cases where instruction based tuning are required i think that that also will gonna test it out very soon now a bit uh, they have a decoder architecture where we talk about the 32k context here it's a decoder architecture let me just write it over here uh, decoder architecture uh, with 32k and they have used maqa multi query attention that if you are familiar with transformers you will understand but i'm not going deeper into it right now right so and one interesting thing is that deep mind has a model called flamingo okay and the if you talk about let me just write it here so you, you can do a bit of study on that as well if you want to do that okay so when you come to flamingo which is a deep mind thingy now visual encoder which has been used in gemini you know has been has been based on flamingo okay so if you look at the visual encoder and i hope that that's why they are doing good probably on the multimodality use cases as well so visual encoder has been inspired by flamingo there and they've been trained on web documents you know the book and the code including images audios videos etc etc right so that's the high level you know very high level overview guys you know if you reading it on internet or everywhere you'll find it out that people have gone gaga about gemini you know that uh, they haven't gone crazy but if you look at the context size 32k coding abilities has performed slightly better than gpt4 uh, when it comes to that then ultra hasn't been launched yet it will get compared with gpt4 pro does not surpass gpt4 you should uh, you should be aware of that right poor has to be compared pro has to be compared with the gpt 3.5 turbo and we have how they have used compute for tpu has been used in rlhf for fine tuning and the flamingo for visual encoder now that's on a very high level thing right uh, that has used now coming back to the technical report which is 60 plus pages you have to go through it i just found out some of the findings that i have explained and you can find out uh, those things there are a lot of references by the way references are too big with some examples and the use cases now that you can go through it 
what i'm all trying to say is that let's do not you know right now say that okay this model is better than gpt4 uh, i will be probably a bit cautious about when i'm saying this i'm not going to say that but there is a hell lot of potential that we see due to its multimodality and the reasoning abilities and the coding abilities as well i think that's a great thing uh, let me just open this here once i open this i'll just uh, show you here uh where do we see the where do we see the update it was there somewhere right let me see uh now dark theme blah 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 updates right if you go to updates you will see that bard is getting its biggest upgrade yet with gemini pro right this is what i wanted to show you it says starting today we are introducing gemini pro in bard for bard's biggest upgrade yet you know uh it will be available in english more than 170 you can try it out with next ground coming soon huh? you can see it says coming soon it's not available yet to use it okay but it's gonna say and the reason i'm not that you know excited or thrilled about it because you know the ones they la launched bar they were also saying the same thing that is better than chat gpt and all i'm not a big fan of you know uh talking or you know, just talking a lot of gas uh, without trying it out myself on complex huge cases the reason is that i'm not a fan of human eval or the mmlu or those kind of evaluation benchmark because now it's easier to uh start training in a way that you can surpass this evaluation benchmarks we need a better evaluation techniques and benchmarking you know because every week we are seeing a new llm that has been launched so it's difficult uh, i think that's all you know i wanted to cover in this video i don't want to create a lengthy video because just wanted to cover on very high level that google has launched the their best model gemini was with they want to rival with gpt4 let me know your findings thoughts in the comment box what do you think of you know uh google's new model but yeah this is this is next year is going to be exciting guys you know we'll see a lot of other competitors coming up with different models maybe gpt5 we'll see uh very soon uh by open ai and they will be now even more real uh you know excited or more uh i'll not say they will be in rust but they will be also now you know i'll say a bit pushed back uh they will be uh thinking about it uh, to see because google is a big company right and open ai has a support of microsoft but we'll see where it goes so if you look at here you can find it out i'll give the link in the description but probably would have already seen it but i just wanted to highlight a few things that i covered uh, uh from the context length on the other things uh that's all guys if you like the video please hit the like icon and if you have any comment thought feedback please let me know in the comment box you can also reach out to me through my social media channels uh that's all for this video you know uh till then enjoy with gemini thank you so much for watching see you in the next one